The following program is being brought to you on the Voice America Women's Channel. For more information about our network and to check out additional show hosts and topics of interest, please visit voiceamericawomen.com. The Voice America Talk Radio Network is the worldwide leader in live Internet talk radio. Visit voiceamerica.com. The views and ideas expressed on the following program are strictly those of the host or guests and do not necessarily reflect the views and ideas held by the Voice America Talk Radio Network, its staff and management. Welcome to Empowering Women, Transforming Lives with Rebecca Hall Greider. In our program each week, We provide the tools, ideas, and encouragement to help you move ahead on your journey, becoming a more powerful and impactful woman in your own life. Now here's your host, Rebecca Hall Greider. Welcome, everyone. I hope you're having a beautiful January. I'm excited to have you joining us today as we really look at how can we age with attitude. I want to really look at as we celebrate every year that is going by, it's actually a celebration that we're going further and further in the directions that we want to go, that we're excited about what we're building, what we're leaning into. The age isn't something perhaps we're shying away from or we don't really want to share about. And instead, there's an excitement about what we're building, about what we're creating. And it builds and builds every year that we go by. And we build that day by day choice by choice, week by week. We get to build our future. We get to build how we are living our life and navigating through it. And our guest today and what we're really going to be focused on is some of how we're looking at age and how we can maybe shift that, be empowered to not just age. And sometimes we'll hear age gracefully or age with wisdom. And I think those are beautiful things. I like the energy behind age with attitude, and that's what we're really going to be talking about today. Hope you're excited, you're leaning in, but I want to make sure we get the most out of our time together today. And to do that, I want to make sure we clear a little bit of the space so we're ready to receive this powerful information so that you can really build the life that you want. As you're stepping into 2016, that you are empowered with the tools and the resources and the insights to every day as we're aging and growing to do that in a way that you want to play life according to your rules, the way that you're made and what you want to have. So let's take a big breath together to create space for all this valuable information and the conversation we're going to have today. Big breath. Ah, beautiful. And let's do one more, but actually focusing the breath going into your belly and then releasing it slowly, almost like you're blowing out a straw. And this actually lowers our cortisol and helps us really be present and focused. So, and it helps sometimes actually to have your hand on your belly. So those of you who are driving Please keep both hands on the wheel. Be safe. Eyes open and alert. Just kind of listen in on a little deeper level. But those of you who are able to actually put both feet on the ground, put one hand on your belly. I want you to practice this breath. Take a big breath into your belly. Put one hand on your chest. This actually helps. So one hand on your chest, one hand on your belly. And feel the hand on your belly rising as you're um, breathing in air into your belly. So take a deep breath, expanding your belly, hold for a moment, and then breathe out slowly like you're breathing out through a straw. Beautiful. Let's take one more breath like that. And out. And in that moment, you're actually becoming more present, lowering your cortisol, which is a good thing. (laughs) And you can really powerfully center and be present. Beautiful. So now let's move the hands. Keep your eyes closed. One hand on your heart, one hand on your head, bringing all of you in. Take a breath. And in this space. 
I invite you to listen in. With eyes closed, hand on your heart, hand on your head, what is it that you need today to serve and support you? As we talk about aging with attitude and building the life you want, what is it that would support you and encourage you on your journey? Be open to receive that information. It can sometimes come as a picture, a memory, a song, a tune, all different ways that information will come in. And when you receive what it is that you know, get that clarity on what you need that will serve and support you. Go ahead and open up your eyes, and I invite you to capture that information, write it down, so you can keep it top of mind, what it is that you need. Sometimes it's encouragement, sometimes it's laughter or joy, or someone to walk beside us. There's all different kinds of things, information that we need. And when we can really focus in on what that next thing is that will serve us and support us on our journey... It's a lot easier to recognize it when it comes and to lean in and say yes so that you can keep moving forward in the way that you want to move forward. Wonderful. Let's take one more breath. (sighs) Welcome. And Jan, I was wondering if you would mind sharing if something was laid upon your heart as we went into our heart space and took a moment to listen. What was happening for me was remembering that I, right before, two, three years before I was going to turn 50, I got a feeling very strongly that I needed to be able to dance again in my Mm -hmm. life. And I had not been doing that for about 15, 20 years. I just really, life had taken over. I had injuries. Uh, I wasn't dancing. I, every time I would try to start that, I would get uh, re-injured. I'd get a twinge. And remembering that I consciously made a decision that I needed to figure out and the injuries so that I could create that space for myself in the second half. And today, I'm going to take a two-hour dance workshop. Mm. Uh, and, And I got so in touch with the gift that I created for myself in this second half because I understood, I became aware, I got in touch with what was really important to me as an avocation. You know, this wasn't about making money. This was not about, it was still about my spirit and that that was a really important component for me to take into my second half. So I am celebrating that Today is such a gift for me. The present is like just the double entendre that the present is also a present. It's a gift. And today I get to dance. I love that. Thank you so much for sharing that. And listeners, I I just want an observation as you're sharing, Jan, that I, I really appreciate is that it started with a choice. Like you looked yeah. up in a way and made a decision. I want dance back in my life. And, and that decision led 
where you are today. It's that decision, deciding this is the direction I want to go. And then we kind of figure out the how to get there. And I love that you did that. And today is celebrating. You're doing your a two-hour dance workshop. And I know you're part of a, a regular dance group I'll share about in a little bit as well, that you're really living the life that you want, but it begins with those choices. So beautiful, beautiful celebration and reminder. Thank you, Jan. Appreciate that. Mm-hmm. Oh, and thank you for for reminding me to truly celebrate where I was and mm-hmm. and where I've I've come to and and looking forward to where I'm going. Yes, exactly. That we get to really build what we want, and I think for me, as I went into my heart and listened and paused. What was really laid upon my heart is remembering to pause even more. Like I've built it into my life, but I find I can race so quickly. And my natural inclination is to do the next thing and the next thing and uh, maybe not get all the sleep I need because I have more things on the list. And I love life and I'm optimistic and positive and believe I can do everything sometimes all at once, (laughs) even though I know uh, I do need to take it step by step. But remembering to pause and breathe more is what was really laid on my heart so that I'm really saying yes to the things I should be saying yes to in my life, that I'm having time to build towards them rather than having my life run me. So that just became really um, a strong reminder for me today to remember to pause more um, and breathe even more than I am now. And I love dancing as well, Jan. That's something I've been recently bringing back into my life in little steps and It just feeds my soul and makes such a difference for me. So I completely understand that dancing gene and pull. (laughs) Yeah, yeah. It is, and you know, it it is the opportunity to connect with our bodies. Uh, Mm -hmm. We, again, we live in a culture that uh, we oftentimes are run by our heads, uh, our minds, our thoughts, our, our to-do list, our, our all of that, and the body is just a container for, for all of that, or oftentimes, as we know as women, it's then something that we're always trying to fix yeah. uh, and, and change and alter. And, and really, when you just move and celebrate that you move, it's a quite glorious feeling, even just to take that moment to um, shake, just, just you know, stand up and shake everything. Uh, it's one of the best ways to get rid of the cobwebs and to get back into being present, because again, so mm-hmm. much of our life is spent sitting as well. And so to just stand up, even if you're in a cubicle, um, I used to do this when I taught. Well, and, and uh, Jan, I, I hate to, to cut you off, but we do need to go to our next commercial break. <laughs> so oh, <okay>. listeners, <laughs> um, what I encourage you to do as we go into this break, take a shake break or a dance break, yeah. have a little yeah. bit of movement, um, really yeah letting seep into your body the things that you need and are looking for as we move forward in January and forward in February this year. Uh, We'll look forward to talking to you in just a moment. Announcing a powerful new TV channel featuring programs designed to enhance and transform your life. Make powerful connections one program at a time. And by doing so, we can bring transformation to the world. Tune in each week to Empowered Connections TV as we add new programs to help you make empowered connections of your own. Visit EmpoweredConnectionsTV.com. That's EmpoweredConnectionsTV.com. And make the most of an incredible life transformation. Rebecca Hall Greider's Speaker Talent Search is looking for people like you. With just one seven-minute audition, you could open the doors to hundreds of speaking opportunities. This is a dynamic way to share your message, reach more people, and expand your impact. Apply now at yourpurposedrivenpractice.net forward slash speaker dash talent. 
finalists get to audition live in front of community leaders looking to fill all kinds of speaking opportunities. Don't wait. Find out more. Visit yourpurposedrivenpractice.net forward slash speaker dash talent. Are you ready for your rush of success? I'm Jim Chi Chong, the walk star. And I'm Cami Ferry, the theater queen, the host of Rush Hour for Success on Money 105.5 on Thursdays and Fridays at 2 p.m. It's about getting entertained and getting solutions for your success in life and business. Visit us on Facebook at Money 105.5 FM Rush Hour for Success or download the Money 105.5 app on your phone for the live stream. That's Thursdays and Fridays, 2 p.m. Pacific time. Get entertained. Get educated and get your rush on Rush, rush Hour for, for Success. success. You're listening to Empowering Women, Transforming Lives with your host, Rebecca Hall Greider. If you have a question or comment for Rebecca or her guest, we'd love to hear from you. Please call into the program at 1-866-613-1612. That's 1-866-613-1612. You may also send an email to Rebecca at yourpurposedrivenpractice.com. Now back to Empowering Women, Transforming Lives. Welcome back, everyone. I hope that you enjoyed that shake break. (laughs) You had a chance to move and dance a little bit around. You got to hear a little bit of Jan's, my guest, the guest expert today, her heart and some of her wisdom. You've already gotten some great tips (laughs) on ways to step into your life in a powerful way, really aging with attitude. And I had to cut Jan off there a little bit, and I wanted to make sure we didn't miss (laughs) the valuable point and share that she was saying. So Jan, I wanted to give you an opportunity before I do my formal introduction to really finish that thought you were talking about. It's a great way, the shaking exercise to really um, shake off any cobwebs, get back connected with our body. And I just wanted to make sure we got every piece of valuable information around that that you were sharing. I think you've got it. I mean, sometimes what happens is we as Western folks, we complicate matters and we think we need to do very complicated things. And we don't. Sometimes it's just standing up and shake your body and just it will wake you up and help you be present. So I think all of this is about having the gift of being present in the moment that you are living this life because that's what we've got is this present to be fully there. Beautiful. Thank you for sharing. And I've heard this phrase, you know, dance like no one's watching. Um, yep. I like we could do that shake, shake like no one's watching <laughs> and it's, just enjoy. <laughs> I have done it in ladies room stalls, you know, just <laughs> to wake myself up. Um, you know, if I'm going into a meeting or if I'm teaching a, a course or whatever, I just like there and and uh, walk out as if I'm a normal person after that. <laughs> <laughs> Your little shake break. I love it. <laughs> Beautiful. Well, let me share more formally about you, Jan. I, I've, I know that our listeners have gotten a feel for your heart and some of your wisdom in this area, but I also wanted to share some of your background and a little bit of your story, which I'd love for you to add a little bit to. But I wanted to read this. It was in her bio. Those of you who have had a chance to go on the website and look at it. But I think Jan's story is so powerful that I wanted to give you a couple highlights and then let you know what she's doing now. So over the last 16 years, Jan Rose Distel experienced the deaths of her sister, her father, and her husband, And I know, Jan, that you uh, really honor the memory of your sister with her name, Rose, as your middle name. And she found herself, so Jan found herself suddenly looking up after all of that death, six figures in debt, when her real estate business basically dissolved overnight in the Great Recession that we had, 2008, 2009. And in 2010, she broke her wrists which required titanium plates and four screws. And in 2013, she also broke her left wrist, which had 11 screws, if I'm correct, that you've had put in there. So I'm sharing this because Jan has gone through death. She has gone through loss. She's overcome. She's no longer six figures in debt. Debt is gone. But she 
was able to negotiate with the IRS, really get out of that and build the life that she wants. But I want you to know some of the journey that she's gone through because I think it gives a very different perspective. If you know that history, when you hear Jan's heart and her wisdom, she's coming from a place of knowing, really knowing what it's like to rebuild to come through things and choose how she wants to build her life. And one of the phrases I hear Jan use a lot is building a peace of mind lifestyle and what that means to her. And I know we're going to talk about that a little bit more, but I wanted to give you just a snapshot of a little bit of her story so you know some of her history. Today, she is a coach. She performs with a group of dancers called Don't Quit Your Day Jobs. (laughs) I love that. (laughs) (laughs) She's a publisher of the Boomer Chick magazine and has a TV show that she's a host of and producer called Age with Attitude TV. And that is actually launching in February. We're really excited to have that coming aboard our channel, Empowered Connections TV. So we're going to be talking about that as well. And she is a powerful healer coach, leader, source of great wisdom, and has a passion for bringing tips and resources and really powerful information and truth to her people. Please warmly welcome the amazing Jan Rose Distel. Yay, welcome. (laughs) Oh, Rebecca, thank you so much. You know, you've been such a light in my life. So thank you. Thank you. Very excited to have you today. Now, do you mind sharing a little bit about why the work that you do and really bringing information and truth and knowledge to your people? Why is the work that you do so important to you? I, as you as you read, have experienced um, crisis and and despair, real despair. Uh, let's let's you know none of this was uh, uh, easy stuff to go through, and uh, each death at times just felt harder. And and uh, when I broke my wrist, uh, the second wrist, it was like, really, this is happening again in just three years? Um, I have to rework this, and it's like, well, yes, you do. I mean, that's, this is, again, what we talk about with choices. So I feel called. I just feel called. I feel like it's my mission. Like, I just cannot not do this in terms of the, this being sharing very simple strategies, very simple things to do, but you need help doing it, and you need to know what those are, whether it is getting yourself out of debt, creating a vision for yourself that is peace of mind. Because I've been extremely wealthy, and as we know, the six figures in debt, neither one actually brought peace of mind, obviously not the six figures in debt. It's an attitude that you bring, and it's understanding what you really need. Same thing with energy. It's really understanding your particular body and what works. And again, not really complicated, but you need to be aware. So I feel very, very called to um, <clears throat> to really, really help women in particular understand what 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 tips, what resources actually work for bodies fifty years and older, and minds and energy and an attitude 50 years and older because obviously the world sees us differently. We absorb that differently than we did in our 20s, 30s, 40s. Thank you. I appreciate your passion for this and that you are so committed to bringing truth and choices to honor the 50 years and up and hopefully under too (laughs) that we all get support (laughs) and Um, wisdom along the way and I know that you've overcome as we've shared a lot of challenges physically emotionally and um, financially that you've come through those things and have a lot of wisdom to share and I just want to do a quick snapshot for those of you who haven't had the opportunity to meet Jan in person you would never know that she had those challenges unless she told you she is dynamic vivacious, vibrant, and lights up a stage. 
She lights up a room. She has that kind of energy and passion that she brings all around her. And so she has really created this vibrant way of being. And I love that you're empowering women in particular, but I know you help men too, but this real passion for helping women know that they have choices and have truth and information to move forward. So really, really powerful. Do you mind? It's the choosing, uh-huh. Rebecca. It is the choosing, uh-huh. um, as you say. It's really every day is a choice. It really is. Exactly. Now, I want to encourage everybody to lean into this. It's a choice. We get to choose. And here's where you move from a place of um, having life happen at you, things that happen to you, where you're almost a victim of life and you don't feel in control. It can be very disempowering and frustrating and disheartening. But when we realize we do have some choice and we can make choices on what we're going to bring forward and what we're going to say yes to, that's when you move into that place of empowerment from a victim to victorious. It's when you can make that choice every day, every moment. And I love that you're empowering women around the world to know they have choice and some things that they can consider as they're making choices, expanding the options and information available to them. So really, really, really powerful. And we are getting... Can I share a quick, can I share just a quick, quick... um, Story well, we that have, exhibits that. Um, we're actually, my- Jan, Jan, I'm so sorry. We're actually getting ready to go to a commercial break again. Okay, I know that the time goes so, so quickly. Um, if you can give us a tip in about a minute that they can um, step into, then we have enough time for that. I would love it. Okay, great. Um, so the tip that I would give you, especially, again, I think women were so connected is to recognize also the choices that you're making are being watched by your family. If you have children or nieces or nephews or good friends, they are watching you. This is where the 20 and 30 and 40-year-olds and 50-year-olds, if you're older than that, are watching you to see what you're doing because we are on that brink of a whole new way of being in terms of aging, and everybody needs to be taught, and they're looking to you. Beautiful. Absolutely. I believe we all are role models, whether we know it or not. And I personally know that I've had many women in my life. I have a grandmother, actually several grandmothers that I've shared about on different shows and on stage. And they have this feisty way of embracing life and playing according to how they're made. And it has been such an inspiration and such a role model for me to know their options out there and that we can live life in a way that we're made. It's really powerful to be a role model and recognize that we impact each other. So listeners, as we're going into this commercial break, I want you to think about that. Uh, Just really think about what's something that you want to, in a sense, echo out to future generations. What is it that you want to say yes to in your life for yourself and for those generations to come? And we'll talk to you in just a moment. Enjoy the break. Announcing a powerful new TV channel featuring programs designed to enhance and transform your life. Make powerful connections one program at a time. And by doing so, we can bring transformation to the world. Tune in each week to Empowered Connections TV as we add new programs to help you make empowered connections of your own. Visit EmpoweredConnectionsTV.com. That's EmpoweredConnectionsTV.com. And make the most of an incredible life transformation. Tune in for Suzanne Ross and Lighten Up TV, evolutionary wellness for the body, mind, and spirit. Each episode features Suzanne and her amazing guests, including inspirational authors, speakers, wellness experts, and spiritual guides. This series is focused on achieving total well-being so that you can live well and love life. 
Visit LightenUpTV.net to find out more. Lighten Up TV is presented by The Awakening Center, a nonprofit for those seeking a higher way of living and being. Don't miss out on living your best life now. Go to LightenUpTV.net today. Rebecca Hall Greider's Speaker Talent Search is looking for people like you. With just one seven-minute audition, you could open the doors to hundreds of speaking opportunities. This is a dynamic way to share your message, reach more people, and expand your impact. Apply now at yourpurposedrivenpractice.net forward slash speaker dash talent. Finalists get to audition live in front of community leaders looking to fill all kinds of speaking opportunities. Don't wait. Find out more. Visit yourpurposedrivenpractice.net forward slash speaker dash talent. Are you ready for your rush of success? I'm Jim T. Chong, the walk star. And I'm Cami Ferry, the theater queen, the host of Rush Hour for Success on Money 105.5 on Thursdays and Fridays at 2 p.m. It's about getting entertained and getting solutions for your success in life and business. Visit us on Facebook at Money 105.5 FM Rush Hour for Success or download the Money 105.5 app on your phone for the live stream. That's Thursdays and Fridays, 2 p.m. Pacific time. Get entertained, get educated, and get your rush on Rush Rush Hour Hour for Success. You're listening to Empowering Women, Transforming Lives with your host, Rebecca Hall Greider. If you have a question or comment for Rebecca or her guest, we'd love to hear from you. Please call into the program at 1-866-613-1612. That's 1-866-613-1612. You may also send an email to Rebecca at yourpurposedrivenpractice.com. Now back to Empowering Women, Transforming Lives. Welcome back, everyone. I hope you had a chance to really think about what is it that you want to say yes to and bring forward that you're wanting to echo out to future generations. I know there are times in my life when I'm looking at choices and decisions, and if I can remember, it's not just about me. I mean, I'm part of it. I'm the center of my life, not in a a selfish way, but in a really feeling who I am and bringing that to the world way. I don't want to hold back, but it helps me sometimes when I have resistance or it's a scary step for me to remember that it's a bigger picture and that I can take this stand for generations to come and I, I want to impact the world in a positive way. And that can be the push that will help me move to that next level. So, Jan, I want to thank you again for that great tip and that great um, reminder that people are watching and, and the choices we make and how we live our life really makes a difference. And I want to shift or focus a little bit because I want to make sure we're really talking about your upcoming television show because this is something that is a way that you are powerfully impacting the world, that you're bringing some of the best information and tips and resources to the world. And so I want to take some time to talk about what your heart is behind this show that you've created called Age with Attitude TV and share why your heart is to bring, why you have the heart to bring this show forward with the focus on aging. I would love to have you share. Thank you. Well, I felt that when, after I went through all the different things that you outlined that happened to me, and in my 30s, I became a cancer survivor uh, as well, um, I just said, you know, I, I'm called to do this work. I'm called to to share what it is that I learned through all these experiences because I wasn't seeing those lessons being taught in very simple, direct, practical ways. And I said, I need to do this. That's, yeah. and, and that's what gets me up in the morning is, is this mission to give women that, those tools. Beautiful. I love that. And I love how you make it simple and step by step because we were talking about this before the show that life moves so quickly that we can miss things sometimes. Like we think we read something or we think we did this and understood because we're moving so quickly that if things aren't laid out in a really simple, easy to understand way, we can miss them. Or it can be too difficult or feel like too big of a step to bring that into your life. And I love that not only 
Jan, this is what I've observed about you. Not only do you break it down into easy to understand information, in a sense, translate it. <laughs> you also mm-hmm. make it you make it fun. Yes, it, and empowering. Fun, we're not going to do it. <laughs> <laughs> we don't need more complication. <laughs> no, no, no. We we it, really. I mean, I know that about my own personality. It's like it's got to be fun. If it isn't, mm-hmm. then I'm not going to do it. Or if you tell me that it's only going to take me three minutes to do this out of my life um, and it's going to give me huge impact, I'm like, okay, because that helps me to have more fun because I have a better body to do X, Y, or Z. So that's what I break things down into. I really, really distill an essence and say, look, there are 30 things that you could do, but here are the three that are going to give you the biggest impact for the time that you're spending. Now, listeners, hear the power of that. Jan is distilling down (laughs) the three key things, essentially, that will make a difference out of 30. You don't have to try all 30 things and figure it out and add hours of things to your life and week that you have to do to live the life you want. She's really going to distill down and give you the things that will make the biggest impact in the quickest amount of time in your mind, body, finances, etc. Really powerful. Yeah, yeah, because we're in an information age. We have way too much information. That isn't the issue. We have too much. It is who is helping us to to pick and choose the right information for me at this particular time in this particular situation. And I feel that I'm actually it's one of the gifts that I have. Powerful, powerful. And these are the sorts of things you're going to be sharing on the television show, correct? So they're going to see a visual. They're going to have distilled information down that's really going to impact their life. And something I think is unique about your show is that it's interactive. You're actually giving them tools and resources that they can tap into and apply information. Do you mind sharing a little bit of how that works? Sure. Uh, So Each show is going to be a different subject area. The first uh, week of the month will be on uh, mindset because it's whatever it is that you believe is the way you're going to live your life. So we always work on mindset. Second week of the month is going to be metabolism. If you don't have energy to be present in your life, then it's like being a salmon swimming upstream. You know, you're just working really hard. And the third is about money. And the money, again, is a peace of mind lifestyle. And then the fourth week will be interviews. So it's very, very segmented that way. And each week will also, when you are part of my community, you have the opportunity for reinforced material, bonus material uh, about each show so that you can download that and have that to go back to. I love this. So in a way, you're getting a show that's dynamic and fun and powerful, but you're also getting someone walking beside you, giving you practical tools and resources to empower you on your journey every single week. And I love, love, love this because it's not a solo journey. We all need that. And to be part of a community like yours and be given information and tools like this is invaluable. And for those of you listeners that have some New Year's resolutions or things that you're wanting to say yes to in the area of money and your metabolism or your body and peace of mind lifestyle and really want to know the things that are going to impact you to move in the direction you want, I really encourage you to lean in to Jan's show and and check it out. It's called, again, Age with Attitude. You'll find it on Empowered connections tv.com again that's empowered because you will become empowered through this sh- this channel <laughs> connections multiple connections plural empowered connections tv.com and you will find Jan's show it's launching in February but also what I want to let you know is we actually do have a show on that channel if you remember Jan that 
is from one of my live events in the Women's Empowerment Series. And the show that she is featured in is Secrets to Creating a Peace of Mind Lifestyle. So if you want to get a little preview of Jan and her energy and how dynamic and powerful she is in her heart, I encourage you to, you can check that show out today. You don't have to wait till February (laughs) when the show's launch. (laughs) That'll be your your preview. Again, that's in the Women's Empowerment Series on EmpoweredConnectionsTV.com. And you will look up the secrets to creating a peace of mind lifestyle and watch Jan's um, powerful segment there. I know you'll enjoy it and it'll get you moving. There's some movement in there, which is really, really fun. (laughs) (laughs) Yes, yes. It's, you know, um, I always say to my people, it's like if you don't take care of your body, where is it that you expect to live? You know, it's just like step one. So I also want to really emphasize what I love about what we're doing here Mm -hmm. is that the internet can become all of our best friends um, because it expands us past our family, past our present friends, past our communities that may not always be the best place for us at a particular time. Because I know when I was going through several of the things that were happening to me, none of my friends were going through that. It just wasn't part of their experience at that point. And the internet communities that I connected with were really, really helpful. So I I just really support all of what you're doing with all of the access that you're providing, Rebecca. It's wonderful. Oh, thank you, Jan. That that means a lot to me, and it's so much my heart to bring experts and resources to people on radio and television around the world. And you're right; we really have this opportunity to connect in all these different areas of the world all at once, and we mm-hmm. become, uh, in a sense, unlimited by the mm-hmm. technology that is available to us. So it's a real blessing, and I'm honored to have a host like you on our channel that has such a passion and heart to serve so powerfully. Mm, and I, thank you. Absolutely. And I want to do a little teaser because we're getting ready for our next commercial break. But I know you've talked about not on the show yet, but we will. <laughs> but in past conversations, you've talked about the age revolution. And Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. do you mind sharing a little bit about this, just a teaser snippet, and then we'll complete it when we return about the age revolution. Sure. Sure. I mean, you and I are living in an extraordinary time. It's the first time on the earth (laughs) that we have millions of people, not only 50 and over, but 65 and over, and that is only going to expand so that we have never had such a strong number of people that are living into new ages, and the fastest growing segment of the United States population are women living into their 90s and beyond. And that is something that is both extremely exciting and also, I know, causes anxiety. I am excited by that. Women, unite. (laughs) Yes, absolutely. We have this opportunity. it's It's our destiny. It's our time. It's a very, very exciting time. And I'm also here to help you with some of that anxiety because I understand. Some of it is, oh, my God, how am I going to support myself? Um, into my 90s and beyond for women. Wonderful. So I want us to lean and embrace that we have this opportunity to impact the world so powerfully. We actually own the majority of the world's assets. We own 65% of the world's assets. And with this age revolution, we have a greater and greater influence and impact being a large percent of that population. So I want us to be excited about that. Know that you'll get support with any of that anxiety. And we'll look forward to giving you some additional tips when we come back from this next commercial break. Talk to you in a moment. A 
announcing a powerful new TV channel featuring programs designed to enhance and transform your life. Make powerful connections one program at a time. And by doing so, we can bring transformation to the world. Tune in each week to Empowered Connections TV as we add new programs to help you make empowered connections of your own. Visit EmpoweredConnectionsTV.com. That's EmpoweredConnectionsTV.com. And make the most of an incredible life transformation. Rebecca Hall Greider's Speaker Talent Search is looking for people like you. With just one seven-minute audition, you could open the doors to hundreds of speaking opportunities. This is a dynamic way to share your message, reach more people, and expand your impact. Apply now at yourpurposedrivenpractice.net forward slash speaker dash talent. Finalists get to audition live in front of community leaders looking to fill all kinds of speaking opportunities. Don't wait. Find out more. Visit yourpurposedrivenpractice.net forward slash speaker dash talent. Are you ready for your rush of success? I'm Jim Chi Chong, the walk star. And I'm Cami Ferry, the theater queen, the host of Rush Hour for Success on Money 105.5 on Thursdays and Fridays at 2 p.m. It's about getting entertained and getting solutions for your success in life and business. Visit us on Facebook at Money 105.5 FM Rush Hour for Success or download the Money 105.5 app on your phone for the live stream. That's Thursdays and Fridays, 2 p.m. Pacific time. Get entertained. Get educated and get your rush on Rush, rush Hour, Hour for, for Success. success. You're listening to Empowering Women, Transforming Lives with your host, Rebecca Hall Greider. If you have a question or comment for Rebecca or her guest, we'd love to hear from you. Please call into the program at 1-866-613-1612. That's 1-866-613-1612. You may also send an email to Rebecca at yourpurposedrivenpractice.com. Now back to Empowering Women, Transforming Lives. Welcome back, everyone. I hope you enjoyed that commercial break. You got a chance to be excited about the influence and impact we get to have, not just in our own life and in future generations, but really on a global level around the world. Like this is the time and the opportunity that we can really make a big difference. And that starts with every choice that we make. So let's breathe that in again. (sighs) Wonderful. And I wanted to mention something that I didn't mention earlier in the show, but for those of you who did take the breaks with us and got to move around a little bit, I hope that you've also had an opportunity to lean and listen to some of those commercials that are being shared. And if you haven't had a chance, I'd encourage you to listen to them on the replay, listen to a couple of them, because these are organizations and companies and individuals that believe empowering women is important. And they believe in it so much, they're willing to put their time, energy, and resources behind the show and to bring programming like this to you and to the world. And I want you to know that's their heart and that's why they're one of our sponsors. And I encourage you to lean in and get to know them. I always want to know organizations and individuals that believe in the work that I do, that believe in empowering women, that that's important. And so I wanted to make sure you knew that that was the heart behind many of our sponsors. And then secondly, a lot of those commercials are announcing upcoming programs and shows like Jan's. I don't want you to miss out on anything. I want you completely in the loop and encourage you to lean in and get to know those individuals and organizations. And then as we are in our closing segment, I asked Jan if she had one more tip or thought or piece of wisdom that she wanted to share with us today. And she said, yes. So Jan, would you mind sharing? Yeah, thank you. So Bonnie Ware was, is a um, hospice nurse and worked with hundreds of dying patients in their last weeks of their life. And she wrote a fabulous book on the five top regrets of the dying. And the number one is, I wish I'd had the courage to live a life true to myself, not the life others expected of me. Mm -hmm. And if there's one thing I committed to with Age With Attitude TV is that you create not a good enough, second half, but a kick-ass second 50 for yourself. 
You deserve it. Beautiful. Let's breathe that in. (sighs) Wonderful. Jan, thank you for sharing your heart in this, your passion, and how key choice is. Yes. And do you mind sharing that phrase one more time that the biggest regret was? That I had not the courage to live a life, and courage means heart. It comes from heart. I did not have the heart to live a life true to myself not the life others expected of me. And, and, this, and I think women are, we're infamous for living for others and supporting others. And I ask that women also, especially in this second half, become what I call divinely selfish, because in that you will also teach your children and community to be divinely selfish for them and be even more available for others when you are true to yourself. Yes. So please lean into you. Have the courage. Know that we are cheering you on to live the life you want to live and build and we celebrate it and we're bringing resources to you and Jan is bringing her amazing show age with attitude to empower you to have that courage to have that heart to have the information and wisdom to live the life you are called to live and Jan I know you also have an amazing gift that you've prepared to support all of our listeners. And not only do they get to look forward to the show on EmpoweredConnectionsTV.com, they also have the amazing gift. Can you share about that in about 30 seconds to one minute? Our time goes so quickly. <laughs> yes. Um, so I, I am building on these five regrets of the dying. And what I felt very called to do was to, one, make us aware of those, and two, to help us with strategies and inspiration and real information so that you don't have any of those regrets in your second half. Wonderful. So let me let everyone know how to access this gift, this generous gift that Jan has made available to you so that you can eliminate those regrets, those top five regrets from your life and really build the life that you want to build, that second half that serves and empowers you and all of those around you. You simply go to Radio Gifts, and that's plural because there's more than one gift, Radio Gifts. Dot net, and you'll see a window open up asking for your email address and your name so we can stay in touch. You simply enter that in and a window will open up where you can scroll down to today's date, January 26th. You'll see Jan's beautiful picture and her gift. And you simply click on that and say yes. But as we've been talking throughout the show, the choice is yours. And here's a choice, something you can do right now, today, to serve and support you, to say yes to the life that you want to live, to a powerful, powerful second half where you have that courage and support. I encourage you to lean into those gifts that are going to serve and support you. I encourage you to to click on the link and say yes to you. And the reason is because you are a gift. You are uniquely and wonderfully made on purpose and for a purpose, there's no one else like you. And my heart's desire is that you will bring you fully forward, both for yourself and for generations to come, because it absolutely makes a difference. Wherever you go, whatever you do, may you always, always bloom where you're planted and shine. Look forward to talking to you next week. Thank you for joining us this week for Empowering Women, Transforming Lives. 
Please tune in again for another edition with your host, Rebecca Hall Greider, next Tuesday at 2 p.m. Eastern Time, 11 a.m. Pacific, on the Voice America Women's Channel. And join us for a replay of the show every Wednesday at 5 p.m. Eastern Time, 2 p.m. Pacific, on the Voice America Empowerment Channel. Have a beautiful week, and may you always bloom where you're planted and shine. Thanks again for listening to the preceding program brought to you on the Voice America Women's Channel. For more information about our network and to check out additional show hosts and topics of interest, please visit voiceamericawomen.com. The Voice America Talk Radio Network is the worldwide leader in live Internet talk radio. Visit voiceamerica.com. The views and ideas expressed on the preceding program are strictly those of the host or guests and do not necessarily reflect the views and ideas held by the Voice America Talk Radio.